Don't blink, it's your blink. Welcome to the movie. Welcome, blah, blah, blah. welcome to the welcome to another show because I'm doing well on the 6th November 2024. We're doing one of their last review of the day. We're doing a review of the movie Big Daddy. Now, Big Daddy was so important to me. You guys know how much I care about Adam Sandler. You guys know how much I love Adam Sandler. I'm gonna go sit down because I'm out of breath because I'm so fat. Your boy needs to be losing some weight. But we're back to the main potato, which is Big Daddy. Honestly, one of my favorite movies as a kid, I watched that shit growing up, like, there's no tomorrow. Um, my father and I didn't have a lot in common. My father and I didn't agree on a lot of things as a kid. I was like, this guy is so different than me. I didn't recognize him. I didn't, like, she my father? I love my father, but as a kid, having a dad that's different than you is kind of hard, right? But there was this one movie that we watched together that we really enjoyed, and that was Big Daddy. Um, again, you would respect Adam Sandler. Uh, if you were a kid growing up in the 90s, you saw a movie like Clicks, you saw a movie like Mr. Deed, you saw a movie like Happy, uh, uh, you saw a movie like Little Nicky, uh, Happy Gilmore, sorry about that. Uh, you saw a movie, it's a movie with Adam Sandler. And if you were lucky enough, you had a chance to watch Big Daddy. So Big Daddy is this phenomenal movie of uh, the first movie, I believe, from the Coles, the Sprouse's twin, Cole and Dylan Sprouse, that were sensation in the 90s. We're talking about the life of Zach and Cody. We're talking about old Riverdale, but that's only Dylan or Cole. I don't know. I should have checked, made my research first. My apologies to Riverdale. The Riverdale community... I'm tired. We literally made uh, 25 videos today. I'm going to show you. Well, you're going to see me upload a shit ton so you all know. But, 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 but that being said, um, the really cool thing about Big Daddy is... Okay, we'll, we'll get the plot. We'll get the really cool thing about Big Daddy. Uh, Big Daddy is about a girl. It's about a guy who is very immature. And uh, you can see, and the portrayal of Adam Sandler is perfect. You can see that the, the portrayal of Adam Sandler has the perfect reason for why he's immature. He doesn't need to change. He's content the way it is. And then life happens, life goes on and on and on and on and on, yeah. And a kid shows up and he's like, yo, your best friend is my dad. Now, Adam Sandler, being a good friend, is like, you know what? Uh, your dad is away. I'll take care of you for a couple of days. There's no biggie there. And then he falls in love with the kid. He's like, this kid is really sweet, dude. And we realize that Adam Sandler, and it's really fucking cool. The movie is so well made. It's funny. It is a nice movie. That's where Adam Sandler met his wife of, what, 40 years? She's a stunner. She is a stunner. There's hope for us funny guys out there. And uh, thank you, Alexander, for teaching us. Um, I think the click might be better, in my opinion, but Big Daddy is such a, uh, such a cult classic. Um, so yeah, so he, he, he had this kid, and uh, the kid, he has to take care of the kid. So at first, he's like the kid, and it's really nice because there's a perfect evolution. Perfect, 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 perfect evolution of... Oh, fuck, I have this kid. There's, for example, this kid, he peed the bed, and now uh, Adam Sandler had to put paper journal because he doesn't really care. That's what he would, he doesn't want to take care of the problem. doesn't really care. Or there's this movie where the kid wants to have this special movie, and Adam Sandler's like, what the fuck is that movie? And then just put him to sh shut him up. Then you realize that he falls in love with the movie. He really falls in love with the, with the kid. And uh, he falls in love with the kid, and he wants the best for the kid, which is a super good dad thing to do. And uh, then he's like, you know what? I'll raise you. And Adam Sandler, beautiful, the most beautiful moments in the movie, in the entire fucking movie, is he lives his life his way. Doesn't listen to anybody, doesn't have responsibility, a man-child. So when he raised little uh, Frankenstein, which is the name of the kid, or the preferred name of the kid, um, he's like, you know what? You're going to be living the life the way I am. You want to do what you want to do? It's super cool. But there's instances of a classic 90s movie. For example, um, the, they're going to pee outside the building. And I know it's stupid, but I did that with my father. I had to go. My father's like, there's no bathroom. Just go there. I was like, that. I am afraid. I have memories of my, me and my father peeing in the, the toilet. And I know it's fucking weird. I know it's super disgusting. But I was afraid. And he was a dad. He was a good dad for that. Is that weird? Possibly? Am I fucked in the head for this? Possibly? Am I gonna sleep well tonight? Most likely. So, um, then he realized that the kid is having a lot of issues. A lot of issues. So then he's like, you know what? I want you to succeed. So he started being more strict with the kid. 
And uh, then the CPS understand that he isn't the father. He let about being the father. They know that his best friend is the father, but it's not there. Because he's not there, he has to go to foster home. And the nicest thing, the nicest, nicest, nicest thing about the movie is Adam Sandler is extremely selfish. That's what I love about the movie of Adam Sandler. In Click, he's selfish. And uh, Abby Gilmore, well, he's dumb. And little Nicky, he's a victim. He's a constant victim. Adam Sandler always played these flawed character. And then uh, Mr. Um, Big, Big Daddy, Mr. D, no. Big Daddy, he is this fucking selfish person. And it's a beautiful thing because at first he's like, yo, my girlfriend, she wants to be more mature. I'll have a kid. Because I have a kid. She'll see me that I'm more mature. And so he kind of helped his friend, but it's like more like, I'm going to help myself. And then he realized that his girlfriend is cheating uh, with a more mature man. And the cool thing about the Adam Sandler movie, the, the really cool thing about Big Daddy, is you hate the girl for cheating, but they're literally portraying in the beginning of the movie that the relationship isn't going well. They're literally portraying that the girl has been asking Adam Sandler for being more mature for weeks. And then she ends up with an old man who's more mature. You're surprised. That's what she wanted, bro. She gave you advice. She gave you chances and you fucked it up. So you were here. She demanded you to hear. So because you were here, she needs the she needs the complete opposite. So instead of being here, where you can both live co bit, she'll go here and you're stuck here. Even if you move, she already passed you, bro. She's already over you. So he goes and then he wants to bring back the kid. It's just really sweet. For the first time in the movie, one of the first instances of Alexander being a cool guy, a good dude, is they tell him they put the kid in the foster home and it's like, I don't want him to be there. It's rough. I'm like, yeah, we have no choice. It's like, okay, I'll take care of the kid. The best part of the movie is you think Frankenstein or Dylan, I think it's Dylan, I'm not sure, and need it, and I'm Sandler. In reality, Adam Sandler needed Dylan because he matures. He picks up a job. He uh, repairs relationship with his friend, with his with his father. He's working really hard on bettering himself, which is beautiful because that's what he needed to do, right? And then he meets this girl, and this girl is the right girl for him. But the most beautiful thing happened. Realize that the girl he was with wasn't the right person. And then he meets the right person. And the most beautiful thing isn't that he meets the right person just after uh, breaking up with his girlfriend. That's not the most beautiful thing. That is not the most beautiful thing. You know the most beautiful thing? The most beautiful thing is he just lost a girl that he thought he loved. He meets another girl that he loved. He doesn't want to lose her. So he's repairing the, he's repairing the thing that was broken and that led to the breakup. The movie isn't about a guy having a kid. The movie is about a guy. <laughs> it's really cool. The movie is amazing. The movie the, the movie name is Big Daddy. Okay? That's really important. Because you think that the movie is about a guy adopting a kid. Which is not it. The movie is about a guy becoming a father. Okay? Because everybody can father a kid. But it takes a lot of to a man to be called dad. Right? A lot of kids, they only have one of those. A lot of kids, that word is sacred to them. It's important. See, I want to I wanna talk about this because it's important. When you're married, you call the, your significant other my wife. In some religion, you're allowed more wife, but in most part of the world, you're allowed only one wife. So when you call the girl your wife, it's a pretty special fucking name. It's a pretty fucking special name. That is the same thing. However, with the wife, there's divorce. But dad said death till death do us part.